This is a homecoming for Mel Tucker. He started his coaching career at Michigan State 23 years ago. Kellen Buddy tells us what led him back to East Lansing. Mel Tucker's first coaching experience came after he played defensive end for the Wisconsin Badgers. In 1997, Tucker coached two years as a graduate assistant for the Spartans under Nick Saban and his predecessor, Mark D'Antonio. After Michigan State, Tucker stayed in the college ranks, serving as a defensive backs coach for Miami, Ohio, Louisiana State, and eventually Ohio State. Tucker then spent 10 years in the National Football League, coaching with the Cleveland Browns, Jacksonville Jaguars, and Chicago Bears. He coached five games as an interim head coach for the Jaguars in 2011. Tucker's most impressive coaching stint came as a defensive coordinator and defensive backs coach at the University of Georgia from 2016 to 2018. There, he helped the Bulldogs to a 32-9 record over three seasons, as well as the school's first SEC championship in 12 years in 2017. Tucker comes to East Lansing after one year at the helm in Boulder. The Buffaloes went 5-7 and seven in Tucker's single season as head coach. Tucker brings a strong recruiting resume to Michigan State. He was ranked the number 14th overall recruiter in the country ahead of the 2018 season for Georgia, and his 2020 class at Colorado was ranked 35th in the nation. Kellen Buddy, Fox 47 News. We're waiting to get the official word on how much Mel Tucker will be paid. College football insider Bruce Feldman says the contract will more than double the nearly $2.7 million he made last year. That puts him around $5.5 million, which would make him the 12th highest paid coach in the country. Clemson's Dabo Sweeney, Nick Saban, and Jim Harbaugh are the top three. Tucker would slot in just behind Penn State's James Franklin and just ahead of Northwestern's Pat Fitzgerald. He'd be making more than Ohio State's Ryan Day and around a million dollars more than Mark D'Antonio made in his final year as the head coach.